Howdy, welcome to the show. Bringing the railroad to you today. <laughs> Again, <laughs> we bring the railroad to you. Uh, we got a big project here. This is uh, changing an air compressor on our number 22 locomotive. So I'll turn around here and uh, show you what's going on. Okay, we got it out. The mechanics this morning unbolted it and uh, is the air compressor. Gardner Denver, made in USA. We don't know if this is original equipment in number 22 or not, but yesterday when uh, 22 was on the head end of a loaded coal train when he, uh, the operator was doing his pre-op up at the loadout after he had loaded all the cars, came back here and this was uh, putting out some significant amount of smoke. Uh, it did hold up enough to bring it back. He did, he did come down on a self-imposed slow order on the train in case he lost air, but the, uh, it did keep the MR air pressure, main reservoir air pressure up the whole trip back. This is how it bolts to the drive shaft to the engine. And there are through bolts through here that uh, bolt to this piece off the drive shaft so we uh the mechanics unbolted it this morning uh they did a heck of a job here and this piece here this is how we got it out i was uh running the high left to pick it up out so i obviously was not going to do any videotaping with uh, two guys in there hands real close hooking all this up trying to get it out had a not very much clearance at all i'll take you up here and show you in a minute uh but, but right here we had uh, over that lip just about that much clearance on the bottom and we was almost touching that big pipe up there when it came out so uh it was pretty intense and it would have been totally unsafe for me to do any videotaping while i was uh picking it up out of there and oh uh, they have another one coming uh, we have another one. It's down at Hans Locomotive Shop, and it will be here this afternoon or tomorrow for installation. So anyway, these uh, forks on here on my high lift. These two uh, go into here, into these slots, and then you see they, this is a little jig that the mechanics have made up here. For moving uh, truck sets around and other things so to get that and that's how we picked it up of course I had to pick it up a little bit and then kind of skew it to get it away from this drive shaft over here all right there's a tag on there I uh, the compressor did have oil in it when it was smoking we just figured it's just hey <laughs> things wear out over how many years this locomotive has been in business we don't okay so we'll uh, take a gander up there and uh, show you inside and then I will uh, make another video after it's after the rebuilt compressor is already in alrighty be right back stay tuned Okay, there you have it. And this is the uh, the drive shaft. Not a lot of room to work in there, but especially those bolts underneath with that big compressor sitting here. <laughs> those guys got it. I'll tell you what, pretty pretty impressive. And uh, this is the plate where it bolts to the deck or frame of the locomotive, whatever you want to call it. Of course, the air compressor is water cooled, which is why all the water, because you had to drain the water out. So he's got a big <laughs> empty hole here for now. Okay. I gotta be careful because I took the handrail off here too. So that we could get it out. So.
So this is not something you get to see very often, every day. Alrighty, stay tuned. So this is how they move the engine crankshaft up there to bolt the air compressor up to it to get it to move to get it to line up. There's another, this tool's can't see it, but down there has got another that goes in there. So there's actually two things that slide into those holes around that flywheel. Then you just push this down and it moves the whole crankshaft. So there you go. Very good. So here's the tool. You, uh, we, this is this is one we had in our shop here. Dug it out so you could see it a little bit better. I told you it had two arms on it. And those go in them holes. And then they just push down on that and it turns the crankshaft. That's pretty neat. And actually it turned pretty easy on these. The uh, This is the SD38-2. The uh, our SD40, it turns a lot harder. But uh, I, I did, that would have been cool to uh, show a video of him doing that, actually moving it. It really doesn't move hard. But uh, he asked me if uh, he didn't want to be videoed, and that's just fine. So I respect these witches there. But I wanted to show you this. That's not something that, uh, unless you're a locomotive mechanic, uh, not many people get to see. And now you know how it works. They open the uh, compression cocks on the uh, cylinders. It also help, obviously helps it turn easier. So there you have it. We'll be right back and I'll show you the uh, final product I, uh, when they get it. It's going to be several hours before they get everything bolted up. They, they do have it bolted down to the to the base uh, right now and they've got the uh, the bolts in for the drive shaft. So that's the that's the hard part. Now I was putting all the little stuff back together. So there you go. Yeah, these guys don't want me videotaping them, and that's that's uh, that's just fine. That's fine. Or I'd have showed more of the process, but they didn't want. Hey, that's uh, you got to respect other people's wishes. When you Fired right up. That wasn't good. Second try. Change some new valves in here in the brake system also today while they were at it. So hopefully we will be building air. The air compressor back together.
pretty neat little thing here. So, battery must have went dead. He's got a little blue light that goes on there. Blue light protection. I sure can't tell you what everything is and what everything does. I don't require an in-depth study of the 26L brake system and I don't have that knowledge. Check the other side. Couldn't get my tamper back in. I was out tamper. I set it. I set the compressor in for him uh, this morning, and I went out and uh, did some tamping, but I couldn't get across. I had some stuff laying over here. I got to move this hose before I pull back into my barn. Still putting water in it. That's how they put water in it over here. Got a couple curves camp this afternoon. 